Hi everybody, I hope you're all well and surviving, not lost your sanity yet. Uh, it's been a long week, I don't know what day it is anymore, but uh, we're getting through it. Uh, for today's video I thought I'd talk a little bit about composition and uh, framing your picture because it's something I get asked a lot and I do find it's a big difference between a professional photographer and an amateur or hobby photographer is the composition and the, the thought process. And that's a key really, I think, is sometimes that you actually need to stop for a second before you just take a picture and actually give it thought. It might only take you 10 seconds to have a, a look around to see if there's a better viewpoint. Sometimes you just have to put a little bit more effort in, even if it's just going over a fence or walking 50 meters along a field to get the angle that you really want. So today I thought I'd briefly touch on a few elements that you can take on board and, and, and add to your when you're out taking pictures and just give it a little bit more thought and see how you get on. The main message I'm trying to get across is that you just don't be lazy and just snapping because you get back home and you look at your pictures and you, you really wish that you'd just put that one minute more effort in or ten minutes more effort. The so first obvious uh, thing that I see and you'll all see it once I once I, I I talk about it. You'll you'll see it all the time in your own pictures, and you'll see it on on other people's pictures on social media. Is to get the horizon level. Now, it seems like the most obvious thing in the world, and and the phones and the cameras nowadays have even got a a grid on them and lines that you can use to line things up. But there's nothing more frustrating than seeing a really nice picture and the sea is sitting at an angle of twenty degrees or something, and you're wondering why why the water hasn't run off the side of the picture. I've got the first picture here is uh, one I took up on the North Coast 500 up near Thurzo and it's all I've done is just dropped a line in there, a guideline, just to show you that the horizon is dead straight. And that's, that's a really important thing and even if you don't get it 100% right in camera, you can easily fix it in Photoshop or whatever editing software you use, even the basic apps on your phone, you can rotate your picture by a few degrees and tidy it up. It makes such a difference and just check your pictures out and, and try and get this bit right. It's very important. Next thing I wanted to talk about was framing. Sometimes you'll turn up and you, you, you'll go to take a picture and the scene is a bit boring and two-dimensional and it's worth having a look around and just seeing if you can find a, an alternative angle to take a picture from that might make it look more interesting. Now this is one I did for my North Coast 500 book and it was basically this farmsteading that I had to feature in the picture. I had to get it in, it was an important part of my book process and I could get it to look interesting but I climbed over the fence and knelt down and got some grass in the foreground and I think you'll agree that it's, it's a far more interesting picture now. This one here was at Dumbeath Castle, again that's up in Caithness. I'd taken a couple of pictures of the castle and then I climbed across some rocks and framed it between two sets of rocks. I also didn't realise that the tide was coming in and I got a bit wet that day and it was a bit of a struggle getting back to dry land but nobody died. Next one is leading lines which you may or may not have come across but it's when there's natural shapes and lines in your picture that leads the eye into the main element that you want them to see in the picture. So for this first one here which is up on uh, Merkel Beach, a nice black and white image and you can see how the the lines lead your eye out to the centre of the frame. You can see the same thing with the, the bridge those lines lead you right into the mountains in the background and just pull your eye where you want it to be. Same with this one, I've climbed up quite high on this harbour wall just to get, because I wanted that harbour wall to lead your eye into the rocks in the background. It's just a very, very ordinary picture with a tree but having the lines leading your eye to the tree just makes it a little bit more interesting. Another important element when in composition, and one that I particularly use a lot, whether I'm shooting people or landscapes or anything really, is rule of thirds, which again, you may or may not have heard of rule of thirds. It's a, a sort of artistic method of composition where you divide your, your image up into thirds. 
horizontally and vertically and you try and place your main focal point of your image on these lines. This one's got some Highland cows and as you can see we've got the, the first the main Highland cow perfectly placed on the on the third there. This one here was the uh, same thing as you can see the the mill which is the main focus of the picture is right a, a third of the way in from the right hand side of that image. Again just using the, the thirds for where I placed the sun in this image as the sun was going down. You can see it without the guides there. So there you have it. That's just a few tips for you to take away and, and practice on and add them to your photography. I'll have some more tips coming up over the next few days so just stay tuned. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done it already. It makes uh, such a difference and it shows me that there's, there's people actually watching these videos. And uh, for now just take care and Enjoy your photography.